Hi everyone. Today I'm going to give you five quick tips on surviving the Christmas and holiday shopping season. Now, if you're done with your Christmas shopping and holiday shopping, congratulations, but you might still want to watch this video because you could incorporate these tips into any shopping throughout the year that you need to do. It'll be on a lesser scale, but it may still help or it will still help. Now I do have a list I'm going to be looking at um, just so you know what's going on because um, I have a holiday fog brain <laughs> and I can't remember my name let alone anything else. So the first tip, make a budget. Now I'm not saying um, this isn't strictly a money saving video. Um, some of the couple of the tips are in that range but this isn't all about saving money for Christmas so what I'm saying is make a budget but I'm not telling you how to do that if you have credit cards you're gonna use so be it if you have cash if there's a combination whatever you're gonna use you're gonna use but you have to make it realistic for you it's not my budget it's not their budget or their budget it's your budget so just make sure you make it a budget that's good for you. The second thing you want to do is make a list of people that you need to buy for. Now, when making this list, you could, um, you know, if it's getting kind of crazy or you know that you're, you know, you've already done your budget and you're like, um, I only have $50 and I have 20 people on my list. <laughs> Hey, it's happened to me um, you may want to see if there's a couple people that you can say hey let's make a pact we're gonna save each other some money don't buy me a gift this year I won't buy you a gift this year um, I know it sounds cold while I'm saying it but really if it's your sister or your best friend or someone like that I think you could probably work it out and maybe make a pact to do something during the year together or um, say hey buy me an extra night you know I'll buy you an extra nice birthday gift you buy me an extra nice birthday gift you know work it out you could also um, if you have like a big group of friends maybe that you um, buy for and you usually buy everyone a gift maybe get them all together and do a um, you know pull a name out of a hat kind of thing and that way each person is just buying for one person instead of everyone everyone gets a gift everyone can shop for something but it's not crazy um, you can even do that you know with your family or you could just do the um, instead of pulling names you could do the white elephant um, our family actually does that on a small basis and we still do gifts gifts but we think it's just so much fun to do the white elephant game okay so that's part of that now the next thing you want to do oh one thing I forgot when you make your list of people that you're gonna buy for go ahead and if you have an idea for that person write it next to their name if you don't have an idea what you could do is uh, write like if there's a hobby they really like or something that they're really into or get or want to get into write that next to their name because then you can um, it might help you while you're shopping to you know spark an idea the next thing you want to do is comparison shop now yeah if you don't have actual ideas you can't do this for that but say you have specific people that you have a specific gift for go ahead and comparison shop for those items because if it narrows down to a couple stores you can go into those stores first you know you're gonna be able to get those specific items for the best prices um, you know because you compared did the comparison shopping and you can um, shop for other people at those stores while you're in there so it's going to cut down some of the legwork and oftentimes too if you do your comparison shopping online you're going to be able to know if it's in stock or not 
and that's a huge thing at this time of year. You don't want to be having to go to six different stores tracking down this one item when you could have just gone online before you left the house, made sure it was in stock. As a matter of fact, there's often, you know, times where you can um, order it online and they'll have it ready in the store. So take advantage of those things now. Even if you don't really do that kind of stuff any other time of year, now is the time to utilize those things because it's going to help you tremendously. Okay, the next thing is number four, combine your trips when possible. Now, this, what I'm talking about here is say you need um, postage stamps, uh, milk, bread, and you need to do some Christmas shopping. Well, you could go to CVS and get every one of those items. They sell bread, they sell milk, they sell postage stamps, and maybe you can get, um, you know, the clone you want to get to your grandma or the gift set that you want to get someone else. They have those items. Or, um, you know, a coworker or the white elephant gift. There's tons of things that all the stores now have, um, you know, at this time of year they have gift sets and things like that. It's the perfect thing to do. You might be able to, you know, check off a few things just by going to that one store. Uh, and the last tip I have on the list is to use your rewards and reward cards and loyalty cards and, um, you know, even like I said, if that's some, I know many of us have, you know, a ton of those cards in our purses, wallets, pockets, and sometimes we forget to use them or don't always use them. Now is the time to get them out, look into your accounts and see, uh, you know, how many points you have. Can you earn yourself a gift card? Maybe you can use that as a gift or, um, also, uh, another one is um, to use as Ebates. If you shop online at all, get hooked up with Ebates. I'll have a link below. Uh, right now, if you're not already registered with them, you will get a $10, um, you know, you'll earn $10 right off the bat. And then each store that you shop online with, you'll earn anywhere from like 1% to up to 10% sometimes. Um, and it's not an instant rebate, it's an earnings that you will get, you'll accumulate, and once you reach $5, uh, I think three or four times a year, they have where they send you a check as long as your earnings have uh, reached $5 or more. I use it, I don't get to shop a lot, but I use it and I get that $5 back once in a while. You know, for me, that's where I'm at, but there's people that shop a lot and they get hundreds so you know it doesn't cost you anything if you're going to be buying something online you might as well earn some of it back um, the red card through Target is another one that's one I use also it, I don't have the credit card they do have a red card credit card but the uh, red card I have is hooked up it's a debit card and it's it is hooked up to my, um, <laughs> lost my train of thought, hooked up to my checking account. And with that, I make a purchase at Target using my red card. It comes right out of my checking account. So I just mark it in my checking account like a regular transaction, but I get an extra 5% off. Also at Target, whether you have the card or not, get the, tar the Target Cartwheel app um, and use those apps, any of those apps that you're, you know, that you like to use. Now, I was using a bunch of them for a while. I did drop a couple of them, but I use Shopkicks regularly and I use Cartwheel definitely and um, all the time. Those are my two favorites uh, for saving money or for earning money and Ebates. I use Ebates all the time, although I don't have an app for them. I don't know if there is an Ebates app, to be honest with you. Um, but 
you can check out the Ebates information or the link below. Uh, and that's what I have for you. I think that if you use these tips that you're going to get through your Christmas shopping, it's going to keep you organized and help you maybe save a few uh, dollars along the way. And who couldn't use to save a few dollars? I know I could. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you have any um, tips, tried and true tips of your own, leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear about them. And I hope everyone is having a great Christmas season, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.